Okay, so you sure she left? She left a few minutes ago? Okay. I'm home. Oh, she just walked in. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. In the living room, Cressa. Hey, Mom. Honey, do you have any idea what time it is? Yeah, it's 6 o'clock. You told me to be home before di dinner. Honey, I told you to be home at 6. It is not 6. It's 7. We had to have dinner without you. It's 7? Oh, my friend must have forgotten to move the clocks ahead. Oh, so that's your excuse? Well, that depends. Is it, good? Is it a good excuse? No. Oh. Well, I'm sorry I'm late, Mom. Honey, you gotta... You, why couldn't you have called me? I didn't have my cell phone with me. You're gonna have to come up with a better excuse than that, young lady. What's the big deal? I'm fine. You knew where I was. That is not the point, Krista. Well, then what is the point? The point is that I was worried sick about you. Now, if, you, if you're going to be late and you don't call, I'm going to start to worry. Mom, I'm 10 years old. I can take care of myself. You don't have to worry about me. Krista, just go to your room and I'll be right there to talk to you. But, Mom, go. <sighs> What is mom's problem? Krista? What? Where, where have you been? Did you just get back? Yes, I did. What, are you gonna criticize me too? Well, maybe. <sighs> where were you? What took you so long to get home? I lost track of time. And my friend didn't set the clocks on um, fault back, so I thought I thought I was really coming home at at six, not seven. <sighs> you messed up. I didn't really mess up. I had a good excuse. Well, it's not even an excuse; it's a reason. So, what's your reason? told you what the reason was. My friends forgot to set their clocks ahead, so I thought I was coming home at 6, but it was really 7. Yeah, I know. I can do the math. I was worried about you, too. I thought something might have happened. If you were so worried, why didn't you come to my friend's house? Your friend's with her big sister. I didn't even think of that. See, when I'm worried like that, I don't think. Grace, if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. I'm just telling you how I felt. Krista? Come in, Mom. Grace, I need to speak with your sister alone. Um, okay. Hang in there, kiddo. Mom, go easy on her. She's just a little kid. Krista. Mom, I'm sorry I was late, but it really wasn't entirely my fault. Well, did you have any plans this weekend? Well, yeah, I was going to go to a sleepover tonight. Well, I'm sorry, but you're not going. What? You're grounded for the weekend. Just because I was late? I was only like 10 minutes late. It wasn't 10 minutes. It was a whole hour. Try sitting by yourself for a whole hour and waiting on someone. See what that that feels like. Mom, I'm sorry. Please, can't, can't you ground me for next weekend? I've been planning this sleepover forever. Well, you should have thought of that before you got home late. But Mom, no. This is non-negotiable. Mom! <sighs> this... It's totally unfair. You know, you've been complaining for the past hour, and it's getting really annoying. Well, I'm sorry, but it is, this is unfair. I mean, Mom knew where I was. I was at McKenna's house. She knew where I was. 
Yeah, but that's not the point, Krista. You should have called. I know I should have. But the, my point is that Mom knew where I was. And if she was worried, why didn't she call McKenna's house? I, I don't know, Krista. I just think it's really unfair that I have to be gone for the weekend. It's not like I've, it's not like I always come home late. Yeah, but lately you've been spacing out. And you have been coming home late. Well, I'm ten years old. I have a life. Oh, and I don't? <sighs> Look, I'll go talk to Mom and see what I can do. Thanks, Grace. But don't thank me yet. All I can do is try. Well, thanks for trying anyway. Okay, I'll go talk to her. <sighs> hey, Mom. Hi, sweetie. Is Krista, um, is Krista still in your room? Well, yeah, obviously. And she's, you're not her favorite person right now. <sighs> Listen, I know you think that I'm being a little unreasonable. But Krista has to learn that she has to come home on time or if she's going to be late to call. Look, I'm all for you trying to teach Krista a lesson, but did you have to ground her? I mean, why don't you just give her some extra chores to do or something? Why did you have to go so extreme? Honey, this isn't the first time she's come home late. You and I both know that, and she knows that. I just can't take it anymore. I mean, warning her didn't seem to work. So I took action, and maybe she'll think about this before she comes home late next time. I guess, Grace, you, you are so responsible. I mean, I'm glad I don't have to have these problems with you. Yeah. Lucky me. I mean, I don't go out very much, or... And I study, and... I want to be grounded. My whole life is being grounded. Honey, why are you snapping at me? I'm complimenting you. I'm gonna go in the, go in the room. What did I say that was so wrong? Well, Chris, the good news, the guild seems to be sinking into mom. Krista? Where is she? Krista? She must have snuck out. What do I do? Grace? Chris? Oh, no. Uh, act natural, Grace. Act natural. <laughs> Look, Chris. Where's your sister, Grace? Um, she's uh, taking a bath. She's taking a bath in the bathroom? Maybe I should talk to her. No. She, uh, she's mad at you. She doesn't want to talk to you. Well, let me at least... Explain to her why I'm grounding her. Mom, she knows why you grounded her. But she doesn't know the whole truth. The whole truth? Don't worry about, about this, Grace. This isn't your problem. It's mine and Chris's problem. Krista? Sweetie, if you're in there, I want to tell you that I love you. And... I don't want anything bad to happen to you. I'm only doing this because I love you. I just want you to know that, okay? She heard your mom. Okay. Well, look, um, you could stay on your computer for another hour, and then I want you to get ready for bed, okay? You got it. Okay, and tell Chris I said goodnight. I will. Good night. Good night, Mom. <sighs> what am I going to do? <sighs> Mom? Hi, honey. What's wrong? You look upset. I am a little bit. What's wrong, honey? It's about Krista. I'm not lifting Chris's punishment. That's not what I'm what I want to discuss with you. Well then what what about your sister then? She's not in our room. I know, honey, she was taking a bath. 
Is she still in the top? She she was never in the top. Well then where was she? I I don't know. But I think she snuck out. How could she have snuck out without me seeing? She, well, when I came in the room, the window was opened and... Well, I'm guessing she snuck out the window. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I guess I just didn't want to rat Chrissy out. And, I don't know, I was trying to be a good sister. Honey, this wasn't you being a good sister. I know you meant well. But what if something would have happened to Chrissy? So it would have been my fault? Well, not necessarily, but you probably still would have felt really bad for not telling me. Well, that's why I'm telling you now. <sighs> well, listen, I'm going to go and I'm going to go out and take a drive around the neighborhood. You stay here and mom. Mom, Grace, Chris, are you OK? Yeah. Can I talk to mom alone? I was going to suggest the same thing. Have a seat, young lady. Okay. I'll be in our room. Okay, thank you. Well, young lady? Mom, you probably figured it out already, but... I know you told me I couldn't go anywhere, but I snuck out anyway. I, I'm, I have to say, I am shocked that you would do something like that. Mom, I'm sorry, but I just didn't think it was fair that I had to be punished for one little thing. You did not come home when you said you were going to, and you worried me, and now you're sneaking out? I'm sorry. I really am. <sighs> well, I'm glad that you're sorry. But we'll see how sorry your butt is while you're grounded in your room for the next three weekends. Fair? Yeah, I guess I deserve it. But all I really want is for you to forgive me. Honey, I'm going to forgive you, but right now I am just very upset. And you put Grace up to this. I didn't mean to. It's just, I was mad. I wasn't... You weren't thinking about anybody but yourself. All you cared about was what you wanted. Even if it meant lying and hurting other people. Mom, I don't want to lie. And I don't want to hurt any other people. I know you don't. I think you really care about people. That's why I'm so upset. Because I know you're a lot better than what you, how you're being today. I love you, Mom. I love you too, but you're still grounded for the next three weeks. I know. I'm not saying I love you just to get out of punishment. I really do love you, and I know what I did was wrong, and I'm sorry. Okay. Now go to your room, all right? Okay. I owe Grace an apology, too. Go on. <sighs>